Skills YouTube channel. Um, I know it's been a really long time since I've seen you guys. Um, I really miss seeing you guys at the program and talking to each and one of you. I hope you guys are doing well and are safe. Um, I know things have been a little bit different lately since we're in this pandemic and we can't really do the things that we used to, like leave our homes and group homes and go to um, Life Skills Treatment Program like we usually do. Um, so today I just kind of want to talk about the things that I have been doing since we can't leave our house and how I've been keeping myself busy. Um, one of the things I've been doing is gardening and planting. Um, as you can see here, I have a couple of plants that I've um, been growing the past couple of weeks. Um, so I'm just going to start off by kind of showing you guys the process of how to um, start growing a seed and um, the things you need to do to take care of them. And then later on I'll go ahead and talk about um, some of the plants that I uh, have been growing lately. Um, so there's three main ingredients that you need to um, help seeds grow and sprout and keep them alive and strong. Um, one of them is uh, water. Um, every day they need some water. You gotta water them. If it's really hot and sunny, maybe twice a day, um, but make sure we give the, our plants a little bit some water to drink. Um, we also need some soil. Um, the soil is gonna be like their little home where they get to sleep and kind of thrive. And then also sun. Um, so sun um, also helps them grow and since it's springtime right now, it's a really good time to start growing flowers and plants. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys um, a uh, one of the plants that I want to grow today is actually a lemon. Um, our neighbors have these lemons and I really, really like them. So I decided to pull the seeds out from the lemon and then plant them and hopefully we can grow these guys. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you get some dirt in our little cup right here. So as you can see, I already have the dirt in this little cup guy right here and it has some water, but just to show you guys, we just want to make sure it's nice and um, a little bit damp and then we're just gonna grab our seed I have a couple right here two of the seeds I'm gonna throw them in there um, just in case one of them doesn't grow and we're just gonna throw them right there add a little bit of dirt on top pat it down a little bit And then I like to spray it a little bit afterwards so it gets... And then there you go, you have it. I've been growing some herbs over here that you can use for cooking in every day um, instead of having to go to the grocery store. And then some of them are also um, herbs that we can use for teas. Um, since you guys know I love my tea. Um, and then the ones right here in the middle are just basic little flowers that I really wanted to grow since it's spring right now. So as you can see, look at the dirt on these guys over here. They're nice and dark, which means that there's enough water and you can see that they're thriving and growing and they're getting healthy and strong. Um, these guys over here, they're a little bit slower. They're taking their time, but they're making their way up, up, up and growing. Um, and then these guys over here are thriving, especially this one over here. These are sunflowers. Um, but you can see that they're all taking their own pace and growing. So I'll just talk about some of the plants that um, I really like and the ones that I can use. Like for instance, um, I'm growing basil over here. You can see that. Um, so basil is really good for cooking and you can use it for anything, any dish that you want if you want to add some flavor to it. Um, for breakfast, lunch or dinner. Um, I also have a cinnamon basil. So this is a different type of basil that we use, but you can use this one for tea actually because it kind of has that um, sweetened little spice to it. Um, the lemon balm. Lemon balm is also good for teas um, to get that little citrusy little lemon kind of taste in your drink. Um, I have this guy too, chives. I love chives. Chives are a type of onions. Um, as you can see, they're super thin and tiny. They're growing kind of slow, but um, they're, they're getting there. They're getting strong with lots of sun, water, and their soil, they're gonna get there. So I'm gonna show you guys how these herbs look like after they're fully grown and have been sprouted and they're ready to eat and be used for teas or cooking. So one of the ones that, I actually keep these two on my window ceiling. So one of them is the chives. Um, you can actually regrow chives if you just cut the top part and then submerge the roots underwater, as you can see, and they grow 
and they grow every day they get taller and stronger um, so they kind of start off this way and then end up this way and then the basil that I had mentioned earlier this one I also keep by my window seal is this tall it needs a new home but as you can see it's pretty strong healthy ready to be eaten and replanted <laughs> well that's it for today guys I hope you liked um, some of the uh, plants that I got to show you guys today um, it's really fun it's been keeping me busy and um, you can use a lot of them for teas and cooking uh, I hope you guys liked it uh, hope to see you guys soon and I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy and I'll talk to you guys another day.